forecast. Well, the temperatures have been warming up to our pick day of the week today. 87 degrees expected tomorrow, so just above 80 today. Another six degrees warmer tomorrow. How about that? After we had all those cool weather days, and then we're going to have those cool weather days come right back in for the weekend. We will drop some 20 degrees. The temperature drop is almost guaranteed on Saturday and then on Sunday, uh, several degrees cooler. The question mark should be, will we get rain and where will the rain fall? I don't think Saturday is going to be that bad. We've got a 20% chance of showers here, but much of the daylight hours in the valley and the sun comes out this time of year, even with temperatures in the 60s, it can be just amazing. And I think we're going to have some of that weather. The best chance for rain on Saturday is likely to turn out to be the evening hours. And don't forget, we have some thunderstorms coming in tomorrow evening and tomorrow night could be some late night thunder bumpers with the flashes of light in the midnight sky on Sunday, a chance of some showers in the morning and there's going to be more widespread rain showers and and snow in the mountains on Sunday, but the valley still may have a little bit of a hole over it where there's not too much going on, but a chance for showers. We'll see a few showers Sunday and Monday, and then the warming trend starts with some very pleasant conditions coming in as you move through next week. Could be 80 degrees by next Friday. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. 85 in Medford right now, 80 in Boise, 82 in Rome, all across the west, even up to Yakima and Seattle are at 80 degrees. So the warmth has been pushing up into southwest Canada and finally spreading to the east. Pocatello a little cooler at 71, but that warm weather heading on in. Are you going to McCall? Do you live in McCall? I was looking at the webcam, so people were playing uh, volleyball on the beach there uh, just a little while ago. And here we are with 70s again for Friday. Big changes, though, coming in at night. Could be some thunderstorms overnight into Saturday morning. Maybe it's a morning shower hours or a thunderstorm overnight, a 50 degrees. So 23 degree temperature change for the high temperature Friday to Saturday, and we drop it another 60 or four degrees now down to on Sunday uh, to 46 in the morning, though, could be snowing out. So a huge change in the weather. If you are headed up to McCall, get ready for those changes and the changes coming in from the south first clear over southern Idaho. These thunderstorms forming to the south, they're pushing to the north and tomorrow this will redevelop here and then push up and towards the evening and especially midnight. This region here has a good chance of some thunderstorms moving on in. In the meantime, this high pressure ridge will continue to dive on down to the south. As it does, it just keeps us dry. But once it goes to our east, it allows that southerly flow around this clockwise flow of air to bring some of those thunderstorms up into our region. And then eventually everything comes in from the west. So hotter first with the chance of thunderstorms and then cooler weather. This comes in for Friday night into Saturday morning and then Saturday night into Sunday and Monday. We're talking chilly weather as that low pressure system comes right across central Idaho and that's going to be a slow mover too. So it'll be with us for a little while. So this high pressure will slide on down, keeping us dry. And then uh, there's the cloud cover increasing. Here's the chance of some thunderstorms tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. They'll go to the north, but on Saturday we get a little bit of a break here. This is Saturday afternoon cooler. But some sunshine mixed in. It is Saturday evening, maybe 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Rain could be coming in, and then scattered showers are possible during the day on Sunday. My schools have true view of tomorrow's weather today. No showers likely in the morning. It will be dry, sunny. Mid 80s are likely 86, 87 degrees through the valley, partly cloudy with a chance for those evening storms. And some of those storms could bring some very gusty wind and blowing dust because of the, the newly plowed farm fields. And so watch out for the isolated gusts in the evening to 40 miles per hour. Temperatures in the 70s in Long Valley, 85 in Riggins, and an amazing day coming up in the Stanley Sun Valley area with temperatures in the upper 60s. My extended forecast, the cool down of 20 to 25 degrees over the weekend, but we'll get some sunshine mixed in there, especially on Sunday. Keep an eye out for the potential for some severe weather late tomorrow night, but most of the day tomorrow, like summertime. Most definitely, especially if we get that severe weather. Exactly.